Good evening, everybody. It's once again Ted the Speed Learner, and I am here to wish myself a happy birthday. Happy birthday, Ted. You've made it another year. And despite the fact that uh, they now have to use Roman numerals in my cake these days, because uh, if they didn't, uh, the cake would be, it would set off the smoke alarm, which would then alert the fire department, and the fire department would then have to put out my cake. <laughs> um, let me tell you something. I know you little weenies out there, you little teenage weenies, you look at me like, hee 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 hee, it's all, yeah, right, let me tell you something, those are not buzzers outside my window, they may be pigeons, but they're not buzzers, that car out there is a limo, not a hearse, and if you guys are sick enough to try to write my obituary, let me tell you something, you need to write something else, right, war and peace, for all I care, war and peace, part two, I don't give a darn bland, but don't you stand there writing my obituary just yet, because let me tell you something, I'm going to make you look bad. I will look, you look super bad. And he said, well, why are you bringing all this up? Well, <laughs> I had a lady come in to, I work in retail. And, of course, it's winter time right now. And I work with chemicals. I'm not going to go into great detail as to what I do. But I work with chemicals. I'm in retail. And it's winter time. So I get a little bit of dry skin. That's just part of getting older. Okay. When you do as much as I do, you do get a few things that don't go exactly right for you. But anyway, I use a little hand cream and everything turns out fine. And this lady comes in and she sees my dry hands and she gives me this weirdo look like, Well, you must have the cancer. Well, she didn't actually say that, but she gave me that look like, Well, you must have the cancer. I'm like, okay, lady, uh, I'm not going to tell you this to your face, but... Uh, uh, you might have the brain damage because there is nothing wrong with me that a little hand cream can't fix. You know, so I'm sitting here going, it's bad enough I've got the dry skin, but then on top of that, I've got this lady staring at me as though I've got the bubonic plague. And I'm like, okay, this is enough. Get real. Anybody who said that, now, now, I've had people, um, I, I will sta stand here and say this because um, uh, we, we have people that watch me and and they wonder why I sit down all the time. It has nothing to do... Uh, I, you know, I know there's probably some people out there who probably think I got polio or something. Well, let me tell you something. The main reason why I sit down and do most of my videos is because I deal with a lot of paperwork, okay? Uh, I've got papers for my Italian lessons. I've got papers for math lessons. I've got papers for this, papers for that. And I just don't want the papers going around every which way but loose. That's why I don't stand up, okay? But if any of you people have been watching my Looking for Lincoln videos, you will see that I hardly have any problems with walking or anything like that. Shoot, I spent five full hours in downtown Springfield last year videotaping Looking for Lincoln signs. I crossed across ten feet of mud. I walked nine blocks of Jackson... Uh, no, Nine blocks of Bloomington, five blocks of Jacksonville. Trust me, walking has not been a problem for me. Shoot, if you watched the video where I was in uh, Lerna, Illinois, I had to walk all those steps and everything. Trust me, I have no problem walking. The only reason why I sit down in most of my videos is because I have a lot of paperwork. And I just don't want it scattered everywhere because i got a lot of paperwork. But if it wasn't for that, I would be standing up and doing all kinds of funky, goofy things. So, before you go writing me off as some quadriplegic, um, let me tell you something. You guys don't know diddly squat. I am all that in two bags of potato chips, and i just like to tell you right now that I'll make you look bad if you keep that kind of garbage up. Uh, believe it or not, I actually have a treadmill, and I work out on it regularly. I also use a total gym, and though I do not look like Schwarzenegger, even Schwarzenegger doesn't look like Schwarzenegger anymore. That doesn't mean that I am one foot in the grave. So for all of you people that are sitting there going, man, we're going to get rid of him soon. Well, I, I hate to disappoint you, but uh, I'm not going anywhere right now. And so you might as well just pack it up and get lost. Because this guy is going to keep making videos and humiliating you over and over again until you disappear. Or you get mad and complain to me or whatever. I don't care what. But the point is, 
I'm just fine, people, okay? Uh, before you go try to cash in on my will, you might want to know that I'm still around, okay? <laughs> Sorry, hate to disappoint you, but I am. So, uh, just kind of get over it, because I'm not going anywhere. And I got your number, trust me. Anyway, pretty much, it's just happy birthday for me. Uh, for those of you who are wondering, I have no problem telling you that I am 42 years old. And believe it or not, all these teeth in here, they're really mine. Wow, I don't even have dentures. I had a couple of cavities filled. They were really tiny. The dentist was like, I'm not sure I really want to fill them or not. Because after all, they're so dang tiny. He's like, well, I kind of have to, but he said, I really don't want to. I'm like, well, great. Make up your mind. Are you going to fill them or not? He went ahead and filled them, but he, he almost thought it was a waste of time. So I'm like, well, that's nice. Just nice. He said, well, technically they are big enough. I'm like, well, great. That's nice. So, <laughs> anyway, so even though I've had a couple cavities filled along the lines, um, these teeth are mine. All mine. I'm sorry, I hate to disappoint you, but I do not have dentures, so if you come in here trying to rob my dentures, well, you're going to be, you're going to have a giant surprise. There are none! So, uh, if you really take care, care of yourself, I would say there's a 90% chance that you'll be doing things at 40 that you were, you were doing. I wouldn't say you're going to do everything at 40 that you were doing at 20, but there'll be a lot of things you'll be, still be able to do. So... Uh, so before you guys write me off like I'm some sort of um, invalid that uh, needs to be put in a convalescent home, um, I got a little surprise for you. I'm still intact, and I'll make you look bad just for even thinking such a thing. Okay, <laughs> hey, you can tell I may be 42 years old, but I certainly don't act that way. <laughs> And I won't for many years to come, so I'm sorry to disappoint you people, but I'm going to be around for a while, so get used to it. Alright, so happy birthday to me. I'm glad I'm around. Some people are glad I'm around. Some people are like, oh, please, not another year of him. Please, not another year. Well, sorry. Another year of me. So... Hope you've had a great time with this. I've had a great time insulting some people that really need to be insulted. And uh, if anything really super bad comes up, then we'll go ahead and tell you. But uh, until then, uh, get lost. Okay? If you, if, you, if you don't like the fact that I'm still around, just get lost. I don't need to deal with you. Alright? Some people at 42 are way over the hill and headed for the next one. I'm just barely getting to the beginning of my hill, so... Anyway, this is Ted the Speed Learner signing off, having a great birthday, and uh, I'll see you soon, so stay tuned.